Well, one of the siblings in the now viral Rock Hill arrest video from last week is talking for the first time. When police were arresting Travis Price and his brother Ricky last Wednesday, a witness recorded the entire incident and posted it on Facebook Live. That video sparked three days of protests in Rock Hill, with people accusing the officers of using excessive physical force. Ricky Price is still in custody on drug and weapons charges. Travis Price, who was charged with hindering police, is now out on bond and sharing his side of the story. I'm hurt that this happened, and um, I just really want my dignity back. This is the video posted on Facebook. It appears to show officers pushing Travis Price in the green shirt against a propane tank and punching Ricky Price. This is the surveillance footage released today. Because there was also an attempt by law enforcement to conflate Ricky and Travis. Attorneys show SLED records as proof that Travis Price had no criminal record prior to this. Rock Hill Police called his brother Ricky Price a known drug offender and said they pulled him over for traffic violations. Police say they found a pistol, marijuana and cocaine. Attorney Justin Bamberg says his brother Travis Price saw him getting arrested and came over to pick up his belongings. Travis's team says they got this security video from the convenience store outside of where this happened. They also say it shows Travis following officers' commands and still later being choked by police. I'm still sore, still in pain, you know. Officers paint a different narrative, calling Travis belligerent, shoving police officers, and refusing to comply with orders. The security footage and the Facebook Live video are from different vantage points, but in both videos, there are things happening off camera that can't be seen or heard. The final piece to this puzzle could be body cam footage, which has yet to be released to the public. The people up top in these agencies have to start paying more attention. If you got guys who are just scared of black guys, they don't need to be in a uniform, man. Well, tonight, Rock Hill Police are releasing a statement saying the investigation into the arrest is still ongoing. Both the Rock Hill Police Department and SLED are working, they say, to review the use of force, along with the criminal charges against both men. At this time, they say charges against both defendants will remain in place.